Hey guys, Ian here, NOLA Designs. It's a little cold out today, but we're gonna do an install on, I have an 06 Pilot available to me right now. So we're actually gonna be putting on the front skid plate. And this is gonna be the same plate that would go on to the, uh, actually the 06 to 14 Ridgeline. So uh, just get started here. You guys are gonna get it in the box. You're gonna receive a little parts baggie. It's probably gonna have some random letters on it. Uh, it's actually going to be the Gen 1, it's what we call Gen 1 front, and these are, this is going to be specific to the Pilot. Uh, the first generation Ridgeline actually has a different uh, subframe stiffener, and so I have to use different spacers on it. But <clears throat> So you're going to get two M12 uh, 10 9 grade bolts for the front of the skid plate, and then you're going to get two 10 9 grade M10 bolts for these rear slots on the skid plate. The M12s roll underneath here and so you're going to take out the inside most bolt on both the passenger and driver's side. Those are going to come out and that's where you're going to mount two and then in the back you're going to grab this front bolt here and over here and I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, get the plate get these bolts out actually step one and then work on getting the plate installed you will notice uh, if you guys have spent any time underneath your pilot you're gonna see that this is this front kind of valence has been removed this plastic valence so you're gonna have to pull that off this was already off on this one I, I don't have one with it installed, uh, unfortunately, to show you guys, but there are uh, several uh, pop plastic pop clips and things like that you're gonna have to pop, take out uh, to get it to this state, but this is where, uh, this is what it looks like in order to get the plate installed, and I'll check back in here in a few minutes once I get these bolts out, and we'll go over how to get the plate bolted up. All right, guys, so I got the bolts out I'm sitting here trying to put the tripod in the bottom of the camera at the same time as a uh, recording. It's probably not a bright idea, so I'll wait. But either way, um, we'll go ahead and get this thing started. So kind of what I like to do for me personally, the best way to set this up is actually going to be to take your time and get, I kind of like to get my hardware set out where I need it. So I've got my M10 stuff in the back, got my M12 stuff here in the front. I can get the camera to pan over there. So kind of set up here, and then uh, I basically will slide underneath the vehicle and hold uh, the skid plate on top of me. I know that may or may not work for some of you. I've seen a lot of guys use, um, actually balance the skid plate on a jack. Or I've even seen, well, one gentleman actually even ratchet strapped it to the jack. Um, with it raised up. So that could be an option too, if you don't want to go about doing it this way, this just works the simplest for me and uh, I'm gonna set the camera up so that way you guys can see me uh, put the bolts in I'm gonna start at the rear and get the run the rear two in and then you guys will get to see me feed the front two in and then we'll torque it down okay guys got the camera set up got the lay down under here with the skid plate on top of me it's always a good look so I like to take spacer drop it on top run the nut and washer up through and then we'll get this thing situated here and I'm just gonna finger tighten these to get them started that's usually the best course of action although I may have picked the uh, slightly boogered threads up on an older it's the only downside you got to get an older vehicle you never know what you're going to find so that one I'm going to have to use a tool if I don't drop the plate on my face in the first place and then on the passenger side do the same thing placing the spacer on top and then running the bolt and washer back up through and once we find that uh on the hole here. 
there it is. I was way off. Maybe this would have been a better side to start on to begin with. I'm sure it's an interesting look from the video camera, but nice part about the plate, since it is aluminum, it is light, it's very easy to work with. Uh, I say light, it's probably in the uh, range of uh, around, looking at about 20 pounds on the weight of this plate. And take my hardware back, get my spacer back, line this thing way up, find the hole again, and drop your tool again. It's always the key to making it easy. All right, so I've got this finger tight here and I've got this guy finger tight over here. And so now I'm gonna slide back out the front, reposition the camera and we'll get those bolts started as well. Okay, let's go for the front. So, spacer on top, bolt and washer up through the bottom. And apparently I am the cross-thread king of the world today, uh, but I know that's definitely not the case, though most of this time this just goes right in, but apparently I'm going to be fighting these. So uh, I would say, too, I am putting this on to just take it right back off uh, just to try to make the install video for you guys so you know what you're getting yourselves into. I would recommend you throw a little Never Seize or something on these. It just makes everything so much easier in the long run if you've got to take anything apart or do anything like that um, that's going to be you know just really uh, helpful and uh, you know turning it the right direction is even helpful believe it or not so um, all right what are we fighting with here get a better vantage point on it and we'll see see what we're doing there we go. Perfect. All right. So now, basically, uh, as you can see, uh, go ahead and tighten this down. And uh, so your torque spec, now's a good time to talk about torque specs. Torque specs are going to be, you're going to have 51 foot-pounds on the front M12s. And you are going to have... Uh, 41 foot-pounds in the rear and that's really it so once you get these started I always recommend you kind of get the plate lined up as you can see here you still have access you can get you can get on here if you need to on your front jack point which is nice and get the pad on it to jack the front of the vehicle up and then you can just compress this whole thing down up here so you've got a nice lot of surface area, get good pressure and biting on that. And then uh, we have louvers. We do louvers in the front. It's going to do two things. It's going to let air in to the to kind of help evac heat out of the back. And then it's also going to help, too, when you're in traffic. Because when the radiator fans fire, they actually blow air into the engine bay. And this lets the, air, the hot air actually get pushed out the bottom. I know there's a lot of hot air that comes out of the bottom of my uh, ridge line. So that's these vents purpose. That's the purpose of these vents here. And then I actually have more vents here just to allow air to radiate through for, uh, this is gonna be kind of where your PTU and your front differential and all that stuff's located. So that's for this. And then while I'm under here, uh, you guys are all, uh, right here's your oil drains up in here. Uh, so I have had a couple complaints that the slot's a little bit narrow, but it is long enough um, So you don't have to fight with the oil on top of it It's always a balancing act between how much space do you give and uh, Protection and so since this is a skid plate first and foremost, that is what we are Trying to flip my camera around so since it's a skid plate first That's the number one priority really is just trying to make sure that we've got good coverage and protection for the pilot and then uh, you know service is definitely something to take into account but 
it's not the number one priority. So that's the reason why that's set up that way. Um, like I said, torque in the front bolts, 51 foot pounds, rear bolts, 41 foot, foot pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and snug those down just so you guys can see one final look of what it looks like tightened down on the truck. And then we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wrap up the video. All right, guys, we are done with the, the install. This whole process is gonna, t you're probably gonna spend more time taking off the front plastic and finding your tools than you are actually gonna be uh, installing a plate. So uh, just gonna give you guys a final look at the plate and then that'll be it for the video. All right, so in the front, this is what you're gonna be looking at. You've got spacer compressed in here with your uh, bolt and washer underneath. So you have this in the front. This is what it's gonna look like in the front as well. You've got, I actually just happened to notice on this is the first one I've seen misaligned like that. Um, you can, there's enough freedom in the mounting. I'm sure if I wanted to line that up, I could have uh, something of note, but either way. So as you can see here, you've got good, I don't know if you can quite see all the way back through there or not, but it's a lot of good ventilation. The cross member is running right along behind here. And then we've got compression over here as well. And moving towards the back of the vehicle, uh, just to show you guys some of the coverage area. We're basically trying to get all the way back to this cross frame member to give you an idea of what kind of coverage you're getting out of this front skid plate for us. Um, so that's what you're, you guys are going to get there. And then let me go ahead and get up here real quick. And what I was thinking about is just trying to show you guys what this looks like from the front of the vehicle. Um, you're going to see, so this is what you're going to see from the front uh, whenever you're out off-road, you're on the road for that matter. Uh, you're going to have this whole area. It's going to be protected and covered. So, yeah, that is a front skid plate install on a first gen pilot. So, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, that's it. That's the install for the part. And, uh, yeah, if you guys have any other questions or things like that, let me know, and we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one. See ya.